As director of research for New Space, she is constantly flexing her mega Martian muscles, dedicating her time to co-hosting conferences for women in space, leading multiple projects, and inspiring student involvement in her field. She is a smart, creative, passionate, and can sense hidden potential within situations and people and draw them out, making everything she touches better just for her involvement. She is undeniably a badass woman. Uh, so I'm Dr. Tanya Harrison, and I'm never sure if I should put, throw the doctor at the front of my name or not, because part of me feels like it's a little pretentious, and part of me feels like I worked really hard to get to that point in my life, and I constantly have to prove that I am not a student when I go to careers in my field, working in a field dominated by older men. And so I'm going to go ahead and own it, and it's okay, I am a doctor. I am also a professional Martian because I work with rocks and robots on the red planet for a living. And when I tell people this and the fact that I've wanted to do this ever since I was a kid, like the age of five, they tend to say, you must be really smart and you must be really lucky. And I don't think that either of, of those things is necessarily true. I just worked really hard to get to where I am because I had this very singular goal and I decided that I didn't care who was going to tell me that I couldn't do that or how unrealistic it was. I was just going to go out and try and figure out what I had to do to make it happen. So starting around age 12 or 13 or so, I just started seeking out people at aerospace companies in the Seattle area where I grew up and asking them, what do I need to go do to get involved with something working on Mars? How do I work for your company? What do I need to do in university? And eventually all of that path uh, including lots and lots of proactive emails to Mars scientists led to me getting a job working in mission operations on Mars 10 years ago. And I've spent the last 10 years of my life getting to do what I have always wanted to do every single day. And ASU is the most amazing place that I've worked to be able to do that because I'm surrounded by a ton of other badass women in the School of Earth and Space Exploration. Our director, Lindy Elkins Tanton, is one of the most amazing people that I have ever met. I don't know anybody that she hasn't spoken to that is just not inspired when they leave interacting with her. And she managed to write a mission proposal while she was going through chemotherapy on cancer, the Psyche mission that you might hear about all across campus as it gets ramped up here. We have Minnie Wadwa, who's the head of our uh, Center for Meteorite Studies, who last year had a really massive car accident in Iceland and was unable to walk for months. And now she's back on campus kicking ass doing science at our Center of Meteorite Studies. And this is the one place where I do feel like I am lucky. I worked really hard to get here, but the fact that there are, there are so many other amazing women in science here at ASU makes me feel very lucky to be in this environment. And I encourage all of you to just keep going out there and doing whatever your dreams are, even if someone tells you that you can't, because you can always find some way around whatever the system tries to tell you you can and can't do. Go Devils. Woo!